You want a wild story? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So uh, my daughter, as you know, my daughter was killed in when mm-hmm. she by a drunk driver when she was seventeen, mm-hmm. and uh, so she would be. How old are you? Thirty. Thir- thirty-one. <laughs> old. <man. laughs> yeah. Michaela would be thirty-one as well. well. I don't know how you even answer a question like this, but what? Because in my mind, like I don't, I don't think I could handle losing a kid. Like, yeah. how do you, how do you handle that? experience. I mean, that's why I asked you the question I wasn't allowed to ask you. It's like, where are you at on your faith journey? Uh, But truly, I mean, it's not just the I'm a Christian mm -hmm. or that all the cliche things that people say, it's not that. And, uh, you know, we've had people say, well, why, you know, of of all people, like, why couldn't it have been somebody, you know, crummy? Mm -hmm. Not that there's crummy people, but (laughs) well, I got pregnant my graduation night of did you know that, Andrew? Did you know I got pregnant? I know it was young. I, yeah, but... It was young, yes. Graduation out of high school. And, uh, you know, shortly thereafter, we got married. Not because we were in love, but just <laughs> it was when we were going to have a baby. And yeah. so we probably needed to, to do that, uh, is what we thought we mm-hmm. needed to do. Um, and so we, um, you know, Chris worked three jobs. I cleaned houses. We lived in a little bitty um, duplex that's about the size of... You know, I don't know, it's probably 600 square feet. Uh-huh. And we had so much, uh, we had a sweet life, a really, really sweet life. So we had Michaela Young, you know, became parents as teenagers. And um, uh, yeah, she was hilarious. Like we just grew up, we had, we had 17 awesome years. She was mm-hmm. funny and solid and grounded and just wise beyond her years. Um, I don't like it, mm-hmm. you know. I would love to be a grandparent right now. <sighs> I think that would be amazing. But that's... That just wasn't wasn't her story, wasn't my story. Uh, and my husband's funny. We laugh a lot, even through the darkest days. Like two days after, you know, planning her funeral, and we were we were walking, and there was a, you know, and he said we could walk out in front of this truck, <sighs> and he said, but our luck, we'd just get really jacked up. So <laughs> let's not do it. <laughs> now that's a bad joke, but it's it's uh-huh. really laughter that has kept us. You know, our marriage, um, I mean, marriage is hard and we've gone through some tough stuff, but is laughter is such a gift. So mm. anyway, we still laugh a lot, but it was still really, really hard. Mm. And it was exactly six months after the accident. It was a Sunday and we like went to church and I was miserable, like mad. Like it was weird. I was like, for some reason, just the six month mark, just mm. like, this isn't fair. This, this sucks. This is, and I got out of the truck slammed the door, had no peace at church, just m- angry. And I just started walking and I said, God, this makes, I mean, I was saying some naughty words. Uh-huh. Really, it was like a, 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 just a, I was just mad. I wasn't praying. I was just, and I started walking, walked down the road. And I just said, God, if this, you show me right now how this makes sense. I want you to show me how this is fair. I mean, I was being hateful 